the fast, cheap, reliable mud coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a defensive video for you today. Today I'm be going over a blitz, uh, a very quick blitz. Edge heat, inside heat, also from the from the A gap, uh, and it's going to be out of the big nickel here. I'm sorry, not the big nickel. The nickel two four five. You can find this in most playbooks. You guys probably know this uh, play. It's the mid blitz, but there's a very different setup. I've used this play for years. It was my go-to defense maybe two years ago. Like I said, very different setup this year. Uh, if you guys want to see a pass defense out of this playbook, uh, out of the Dime 146, a very good pass defense, a very hard to uh, throw on pass defense, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. So we're going to go ahead right back to this play. We're going to pick the mid blitz. The only thing is make sure you have as much speed as possible on the outside. Like right here, I don't think uh, Campbell's going to really do a great job, but he'll be fine. I'm not really going to change him either because I don't really know who's fast. Uh, and then you make sure that you have some speed on your inside linebackers too because you're going to get pressure from both of those spots. So this play right here, in the past, I used to run it like this. I'll show you the old way I used to run it where basically I would just spread the defense as much as possible and bring this guy down to the gap. Now, that's still, you know, decent, but ultimately the best way to do it now is by pinching everything. You want to I don't want to I don't want to pinch the, uh, the 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 DBs though. I just want to pinch the the linebackers typically, bring them in as close as possible, and then I'm just going to guess pass pretty much every time. I still want to come down this gap, and there's a very important reason for that. I'll go over longer uh, in in the video, but ultimately um, you can get a lot of switch pressures if you do the trick that I just did there, and that's pretty much what's going to make this play successful. We'll go to the replay right off the bat because you can see how quick that got in, uh, and, and Mahomes is running for his life. So really, what makes this pressure work? I don't. I didn't see how many people actually actually blocked. I'm gonna guess it was five, which yeah. So we had five on five, five on six. So you typically should get one guy free in a, in a situation like that. But the way that I'm running this, you're gonna get two guys free. Both the edge guys are gonna come in free, and that's really because of what I'm doing with this uh, with this safety. So this guy right here, I'm gonna basically create um, some switches on the inside of the defensive line or the offensive line a lot of times by basically strafing right across the face, basically looking like I'm threatening to the point where I might actually blitz, and that's gonna create switches. Basically, what I'm talking about when I come to this, when I call switches, is these um, these these inside linebackers a lot of times will get free because the interior guys will pay attention to me. Man, I hate these trying to trying to click on to the damn guy. Well, it's the, it's the middle linebacker next to me. So, he, yeah, got him. Thank you. So the middle linebacker next to me, he's, he's he has the opportunity to come in free because watch how this guy switches off on him. He, it's, that's not a pass. He's not in a pass rush. He actually switched, and then I got like a stupid animation where like switch back but you can see right here like i said he, he this is this is a look you get a lot of times where the guard will switch off and let him come in free so we'll do that again um ultimately i have to pay attention to the running back when i make my strafe adjustment i can either strafe to follow my my running back assignment or if he's blocking i would just strafe in the opposite direction where there's three receivers that's probably one of the things that people will probably struggle with is you have to know where you're going pre-snap so if the running back goes down the pattern, I have to follow him, but I have to strafe in that direction. If he doesn't, I have to go in the opposite direction. There, that was a play action. See, once again, both guys get off the edge uh, because of the way that this is set up. Uh, and it's just an instant sack, but ultimately, you know, I'm not expecting too many, um, you know, too many uh, play actions, I guess, necessarily online. But you can see how fast that is. So here we go once again. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I'll bring this guy over the middle here. I'll make, I'll do the exact same thing I was doing with the linebacker. Strafe with him. Try to create those switches. It's a little bit, I mean, you have decent coverage. It's a little bit diff, more difficult in, in gun like that. So, like I said, real simple setup. Just going to bring the uh, the safety that's covering the running back down. And I'm definitely going to want to strafe in the direction of the running back because there's also three wide receivers there. So, this is, you know, I keep getting caught up um, by the center. But you can see we're still getting two guys off the edge. Um, so, I'm not necessarily getting that strafe that I want, that inside uh, switch look, but you know, I can see if it's definitely if it's a play action, this is instant heat. So, like I said, the biggest parts are pinching and uh, guessing pass. Those are probably the most important. Here's another play. I'm going to go definitely go to the to the right side here with a run play. You can see this is going to have a lot of success against run plays too. This is a very aggressive defense. It's going to give a lot of different plays problems. So let's go ahead and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I want to get that uh, want to get that strafe animation uh, look where it's not sucking me into the block. So I'll stay back a little bit further this time. Um, but ultimately, it's still, it's still doing it. It's still bringing me in a lot. And like I said, you're getting the instant heat. So, you know, you can see the success of the Blitz. 
Like I said, I'm trying not to get suction in. I'm trying to get that strafe so I can get some A-gap pressure. So I'll kind of back off a little bit here. See if we can not get sucked in so I can kind of move these guys around. But like I said, we're just getting, I mean, it's, 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 this is one of the faster blitzes. You can see how quick the computer typically throws the ball away or checks it down so fast that it's hard to get sacks, even in practice mode. But you can see how fast sacks I'm getting just by guessing pass, just by pinching this defensive alignment. Um, and then, like I said, I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to switch off. It's really giving me, oh, he's getting lit up. So, like I said, then you have these issues here. If you get a gun empty, this is something where you're going to have a couple different options. I'm going to try to go ahead and bring this guy in uh, in here and uh, shift the line so we can get a free guy. And then I'm going to I'm going to rotate across again. Um, you can see, I mean, there's just, I think that was, I think there I got my A-gap switch finally. So let's go ahead and let's go to the replay. So like I was saying, a lot of times you'll get pressure from these middle linebacker spots. You'll get a lot of switches inside. And that's exactly what happens here. Number 62 here just switches them off, gets, lets them go free. You know what I mean? A lot of times you're going to see that from this look. And I think part of it is because I got sucked in on my edge spot a little bit longer than I wanted to. But by the time the play ends, let's just do a, a body count here. This guy's blocking nobody. Um, this guy's on the ground, <laughs> which uh, that was part of the animation he got. But ultimately you have uh, five guys on five. And only three are getting blocked, although one of them's on the ground. But three are getting blocked, uh, two of them on the ground. So it's it's three guys, four guys blocking three guys, and this guy's coming in free uh, for another sack on Mahomes. So you know, if you're running this defense, you're going to get a lot of people that are going to start hitting your classic slant. So I'm going to show you an adjustment for when your opponent starts doing that. So we're going to pick uh, the mid blitz one more time. I'll find a, a slants play. Uh, in here, I'm sure there's something uh, right, probably right here, quick slant. So if your opponent st starts to hit slants, which is inevitable, you really have two options. You can either do um, the exact same look uh, in this particular, you know, I mean, obviously I don't want to bring this guy down like this, but um, you know, this is ultimately an option. You can switch to cover two from the same look. Uh, hopefully they'll think it's the same thing. Or you can do what I was going to show you, which is, you know, basically a mid, do the exact same thing with the mid blitz, do the same look you know basically telegraphing that you're going to run the same blitz and then just basically put these guys into vertical hooks and that's going to take away any slants basically this is like setting a trap so they're going to throw right into these hooks especially if they try to hit the quick slants because a lot of times uh that's all you have and then you can see Mahomes here is just taking off because he knows there's nothing so ultimately if you're hitting them successfully with the blitz you can guarantee that slants uh will be coming uh, but you can you can take that away too if you're uh, if you're if you're smart if you can uh, you know if they if they hit slants once they're going to hit it again just basically bide your time you won't get the pressure here but you'll definitely get the um, you'll definitely get the interceptions and then like I said Mahomes knows there's nowhere to throw the computer's not necessarily going to make that throw but your opponent will and it will result in a lot of picks so I'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see uh, more plays out of this playbook like I said I got a, a defensive. Uh, past video that i'd really like to put out soon hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below